the day that the Lord has made. Uh, we rejoice and be glad in it. I'm just taking my a sip of uh, hot water. As we continue with our 21 day prayers and uh, this morning I want us to encourage ourselves in the book of Luke we are reading uh, from the book of Luke chapter 11 that is verses 21 and 22 uh, the Bible says that when a strong man fully armed guards his own house his possessions and are safe but when someone stronger attacks and overpowers him he takes away the armor in which the man trusted and divides up his plunder. Uh, we'll also be looking on the book of uh, Ephesians chapter 6 verses 11, but I want to have an emphasis that uh, uh, this is the time that we are set to overcome and the, overpower the strong man. The strong man is our enemy and we know that we are in a spiritual warfare. Uh, what do we mean by overpower? This is to defeat or gain control over someone or something. Overcome, to conquer or to defeat the enemy, to prevail over. Uh, we look upon these two words, strong and stronger. Uh, one, stronger is uh, someone, uh, when talking over someone who is physically powerful and able to. But stronger, this is a comparative of strong. Uh, like now if we say that uh, Sometimes you go to the doctor and he tells you that I'm going to give you a more stronger medicine that you had. So that one means this medicine will be more effective. Uh, in the book of uh, Ephesians chapter 6, this one uh, encourages us to be strong in the Lord, that we have to be strong in the Lord. And especially this time, we have to be strong in the Lord. Uh, we have to be empowered. And the more we know about the Lord, the more we value our Savior and the stronger we will be. Uh, secondly, uh, we should put on the full armor of God. The spiritual body armor will equip the soldier so that he can stand firm in the fight. Uh, number three, the spiritual warfare, Paul explains the power of God is necessary because the ways of the devil involve the spiritual hosts host of the wickedness. And verses 12, 12 emphasizes on how we wrestle. The battle is as real as the devil is himself. He is an accuser, he is our enemy, and uh, he is an enemy of God and also an enemy of man. Uh, he is the prince of the air and he is the ruler of this world. We need God to overcome and overpower the enemy. When we read from the book of Zechariah, chapter 4, verses 6, the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by, by might, nor by power, but by the Spirit, says the Lord. Uh, when we go to the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verses 16, let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace in the time of need. Brethren, this is a time that we are in need and we need God much more than ever before. We remember of a story in the book of Exodus chapter 15 verses 9. And this is the time the children of Israel were to cross the Red Sea and they had crossed. Of course, this is a song that is sung by Miriam and Moses. But in verses 9, as they sing the song, this is what the enemy had planned. The enemy had boasted. In fact, the Bible says he had boasted, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoils, I will gorge myself on them, I will draw my sword and my hand will destroy them. So we should realize that even enemy, the enemy is, keep, is, is, keeping, uh, or is, is keeping some things over our lives. But now uh, in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 20, 15, the Bible tells us that the battle is the Lord's. Uh, do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army. For the battle is not yours, but God's. Praise God. Uh, we also learn that our weapons are not carnal. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 4, the Bible says that the, the weapons we fight are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. God is with us. In Exodus chapter 14, from verse 13 to 15, 
the Lord is asking, is, is, is telling Moses to tell the Israelites, tell them not to cry anymore. Tell them to move on. This is a season that we need to move on in our prayers, that we need to encourage ourselves, that we need to stand firm and stand on our ground, and we need to rely much on God and to rely much on what he can do for us. Because a man of faith sees beyond. A man of faith is strong. And if we want to be strong, especially at this period, we have to, we have to, we, we have we have to read the word of God we have to memorize the scriptures we have to study the word of God and uh, we have to, 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 to meditate upon the word of God in verses 22 uh, of the Luke chapter 11 but when someone stronger attacks and overpowers him he takes away the armor in which the man trusted and divides up his plunder you may ask yourself what is this armor that the enemy is using against me uh, the enemy's armor is anything that he trusts in to defeat you in battle, to cause doubt or disbelief, especially this time that we are in prayer. Satan is after your faith. Nothing is more humanly destructive to the domain of darkness than a faith-filled Christian. Uh, Satan wants to take down our faith. If Satan can weaken our faith, he can mobilize us. If he can destroy our faith, he can destroy us too. What do we mean by uh, to plunder? This is to take back anything stolen from you or obtained regularly. This is our time that we fight this battle and we win the battle, uh, that we be stronger and get into the house and get what belongs to us, whatever the devil has stolen. He could have stolen our businesses. He could have stolen our jobs. He could have stolen our people. And our people are held up in drugs and so many things. And I want to encourage brethren that nothing shall be impossible with our God. Everything is possible. Uh, I want us to pray and believe God as we pray together today that our God is faithful. He is going to do great and great things that we cannot think or imagine. Let's believe and pray. Everlasting God, in the name that is above other names, we come in your presence, O oh God. Thank you for teaching us this morning. That Lord, we are in a warfare and we are not alone. That it is not by might nor by power, but it is by the Spirit. We are praying that Lord, you may help us. That Lord, we may overcome and may, we may overpower our enemy. Even the, the, the disappointments that we may feel at this time, is, this could be the tricks of the enemy. But Lord, we are praying that you help us, Jehovah Father. Lord, as you fought for the children of Israelites and they overcame, Lord. And they sang a song and they said that you are a warrior of warriors. Oh God, we are praying that it shall be so in our lives, Jehovah Father. We thank you and we bless you this morning. Be with us today, with the rest of the day. Encourage us, Jehovah God, and speak to each one of us. We thank you and we bless you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.